I'm gonna make the best homemade hammer in the world. I can't make my hammer alone because I don't have the stuff to do it. So I'm gonna work with another YouTuber, MakerJ101. So if you wanna see cool videos about exploring old nuclear sites, radioactive glass, abandoned coal mines, building engine parts completely from scratch, as well as a steam engine completely from scratch, piston made from JB Weld, as well as a bunch of other parts completely from scratch that make up a completely homemade internal combustion engine that runs a generator and makes electricity. All made from scraps and bits and bobs, just like my projects. Homemade solar panels, play with fire, debunk free energy machines, take a real ATM and turn it into a pile of powder with a whole bunch of explosives. Build a livable igloo in your driveway, and a whole bunch of other awesome projects that if you're into engineering, you're totally gonna love. Like every other project I've ever done, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Candle. No wick. John Wick. I think I have a good idea for how to do this. But first, I gotta get this threaded rod mounted inside of this candle. Wah! I hope the wick was centered, cause that's what I'm using to line it up, you know? I think it's gonna work. If I turn this on and it flies off, I have to rethink my entire idea. Oh, I need to plug it in. <laughs> All right. Looks like it might work out. So I'm gonna see if I can true it up. Woo! <laughs> Maybe I should let this thing warm up first. Well, this isn't working very well. I'll figure something else out. Let's try a Sawzall blade. Oh, wrong direction. Truing this up is really difficult, so I think I'm gonna part it off for the length that I want, because this thing is gigantic. Then I'll try to true it up. Woohoo! All right. Well, I was trying to make sure that it didn't chatter, so I didn't get weird marks on it, but the chatter actually made it look really cool. See the chatter? Now, to mount the handle. Now I gotta get a hole through this because I'm gonna use a piece of rebar as the handle. And I think I'm gonna pe 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 put a piece of wood down here at the bottom to hang on to. I'm not sure yet, but I know that I need to use my biggest drill bit to put a hole through this. It's gonna be difficult because there's no way to hold this. I can't put it in a vise because it's made out of wax. Well, that worked out pretty well. These ridges here are bigger than the biggest drill bit that I have, so it doesn't fit. If I push too hard, it's just gonna split this thing in half. I think if I take this caliper set, I can dig a little channel, you know? See, the problem is I can't just heat this up and shove it through because then steel holds its heat so long, it'll just end up melting the whole thing and then I don't have a hammer. But forcing it through like this could potentially just break it in half and then I wouldn't have a hammer. But I'm pretty close and it didn't break so far. All right, I got it. Now I need to seal these areas with more wax. Time for heat. So I need to get this on here and I need to get the hammer inside it held up at the right level and then I basically need the vise to hold the hammer in here with the shaft sitting right there that way it's like the right distance from the bottom I need to melt this onto the ball peen part of the hammer so that that's where I can pour the brass down in and then once it's all set up I need to mix up plaster and pour it in and hope that it doesn't shift and screw up this whole thing All right, now I'm gonna use hot glue and hope that that seals this the rest of the way. Well, it's ugly, but I bet it's sealed. Let's see if I can get this stuck on without screwing this thing up. I'm gonna try to get this all melty and stick it on there. Okay, don't touch anything. I got a bunch of plaster in this cup. I'm gonna mix it up and dump it in. Oh yeah. I need a funnel. Got a funnel. Here we go. There was a plug of plaster in the tube, and now there's plaster everywhere. That's fun. Let's hope this fills it. Oh, I got this. Perfect. That worked out awesome. I have an idea to agitate bubbles out of it. <laughs> I think it's working. 
No! I was afraid of this just popped off and now it's floating. I got it sorted. I laid that threaded rod that I had left over across the top and it's holding it down. So there will be a very thin layer plaster between the two pieces. And then I'll just punch through that little bit and then that stuff can fall out. Yeah, hopefully this works. After a bunch of waiting, my plaster is done. Now it's time to throw this thing in the oven and let the wax melt out. Hopefully it didn't screw up too much because this thing came off. So now I'm in Pittsburgh with MakerJ 101 and I didn't do this correctly. I did it right so far, but I, I'm missing a step. You have to cook the water off. You have to break that bond and get the water molecules out. So you have to bring it up to the temperature that the molten metal is going to be poured into this at. Just so that the water, the moisture doesn't bubble up through the metal. And because if the water, if the moisture bubbles oh, up okay. through the metal, it'll just leave bubbles all through the metal. and It'll be all porous, like kind of like foam. <laughs> so now he's going to help me out by setting up this makeshift kiln to cook this so that it actually works when okay. we go to pour the metal we'll into see. it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. That's it. This is his foundry that we're gonna melt all the metal in. Now tell me this isn't ingenuity. He got a bunch of scrap bricks and scrap cinder blocks and built his own foundry in his backyard. It's coal fired and he uses an electric leaf blower to run this thing. And then all he does is just hook up a variac to the leaf blower. That way he has adjustable speed control so that he can adjust the heat. So it isn't just full blast all the time and he melts all the bricks and everything. You know what I mean? Variac, leaf blower, foundry. We can probably light it off now. <laughs> this is a fun way to do casting, but not in a boring kiln. We have to wait six hours for it to heat up here. It's like watching water boil. That's boring. <laughs> this is the way to do it. You can see the heat. It's red in there. Oh, wow. Joe Kim's going first. He's got his copper in the little thing right there, all set up. He's gonna be casting a cube of copper. Here we go, melting copper. We had some technical difficulties. It started raining and his variac stopped working. So now we have to run the leaf blower at full blast to make it work. So it's gonna be hot, definitely gonna melt some metal. Perfect vent hole. I've learned an important lesson. 2,000 degrees is really hot. Just get ready to do the bra the bronze, yeah. or the, yeah, the brass. There should be another ingot in there. You think stayed broke off? Yeah, it did. Shoot. Dust fail hammer. <laughs> it's pretty obvious that the bottom of the mold popped and you can see that it all leaked out the whole way around. We got this little river of brass that went down through the grass that looks really cool and a whole bunch of brass that came out of the bottom, but we don't know what's inside. So we're gonna dump this thing in water and see what is in there as far as a hammer goes, which it feels pretty light, so there's probably not very much. <laughs> Not much of a hammer. I think it leaked. My mold, my fault. Pretty much. Hey, that speaks more to me than modern art does. Yeah, me too. Let's see what this looks like. Turned out really good. Hopefully there's not like gas bubbles or anything in it. See, I'm impressed by the color we yeah. got. Yeah. That is like a it's really a nice color. Hour. For just throwing random pieces of <laughs> zinc into a hot thing of copper. Pretty much. Here's our final products. We've finished our casting and obviously has worked out really well. Copper cube. And mine has failed pretty miserably because my mold broke. <laughs> this is definitely one of those videos that should show you that you shouldn't be afraid to fail. You should go out and try stuff and learn things from people that know more about them than you so that you can develop a new skill.
but we definitely learned how to make brass. <laughs> and we got a big giant cube of copper. copper. Solid <laughs> copper. And we got some brass ingots. Don't forget to check out his channel to see the cool projects that I mentioned earlier that he's got and also to see the other half of this video where you get to see the ins and outs of how he made that copper cube. Don't forget to let us know in the comments below whether you want to see us do another collaboration. Um, I'm sure it would be a lot of fun if we did that. And maybe I could actually get a real hammer out of sure, it. Sure, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next time. It works.